Well, over the months, we have talked about the race to create greener cement, but its sister in construction, steel, is also a major carbon offender. Diana Olick joins us now to explain in her continuing series on climate startups. Hi, Di. Hey, Ty. Yeah, steel is considered the world's most important construction material used in everything from skyscrapers to cars to cargo ships. But it is anything but green. Lowering its carbon footprint will require something of an iron fist. Steel is an integral part of the clean energy transition. It's used in electric vehicles, wind turbines and new infrastructure. But making steel is a dirty process. 70% of the steel produced globally is made in blast furnaces fueled by coal, which results in two tons of carbon dioxide for every ton of steel produced. Now, companies like Boston Metal and a Colorado-based startup, Electra, are attempting to make steel green. What our team has developed is a novel process that uses renewable electricity and lower-grade iron ores to potentially eliminate 90% of CO2 emissions produced in steelmaking. Electra produces iron, the main component of steel, at far lower temperatures, just 60 degrees Celsius as opposed to the usual 1600 degrees. And it's using emission-free renewable electricity to heat the ores instead of coal. From cost perspective, our goal is to be equivalent or cheaper than the incumbent steelmaking process. Electra is now partnering with Nucor, which is heavily focused on decarbonizing steel and uses electric arc as opposed to coal-fired furnaces. It also uses recycled materials for the most part, but still needs the pure iron for some products, which Electra will provide. You could, in essence, have high-quality iron that would have zero embodied carbon, and that would be a huge win not only for Nucor, but for the industry and for the world. In addition to Nucor, Electra is backed by Breakthrough Energy Ventures, S2G Ventures, Temasek, BHP, and Amazon's Climate Pledge Fund. Total funding, $85 million. The biggest challenge now is how to scale this technology to such a massive industry. The faster that can happen, the cleaner steel will become globally. Tyler? You know, so even though the company is using an electric furnace, that electricity has to come from somewhere. Is it clean, too, or not? Well, they are using renewable energy, but that often has a problem because when you use solar, right, the sun's not always out. It's intermittent. But they say that by using this lower temperature functionality, they can actually start and stop the process for when the solar is available. All right, Diana. Diana Olick, thanks. Appreciate it.